This isn't the Rode Wireless Go. This is the new Wireless Me, which looks almost exactly like the Wireless Go, except further simplified and a bit more automated. It's here to coexist with the more advanced Wireless Go 2, so on that note, let's go over a few things which are different on the Wireless Me. First off, the Wireless Me costs less than the Wireless Go 2's. The difference is 50 US dollars if you compare it against the Wireless Go 2 with a single transmitter. Now, although a $50 price difference doesn't seem massive, the included accessories do give the Wireless Me quite a bit more value. In addition to the 3.5mm TRS cable and USB-C cable, the Mi also ships standard with the SC21 Type-C to Lightning cable and the SC7 TRRS cable, the one with a grey tip. For Wireless Go users, these two cables need to be purchased separately for $22 and $15 respectively. So for a lower price, the Wireless Mi actually comes with a much more complete set of cables. Aside from that, one of the biggest cost savers on the Mi is probably the absence of a display on the receiver. This, along with the removal of all buttons with the exception of the power button, does mean any customization needs to be done via the Rode Central application, either through your phone or computer. The way you're able to configure your Wireless Me at the time of purchase is also slightly different. It's available only as a one-to-one -one kit as of launch. This is in contrast to the Wireless Go 2, where the standard kit is two transmitters going into one receiver, with the option of a cheaper single transmitter kit. Now, here's the plot twist. Despite the Wireless Me being offered only in a one-to-one -one configuration, the Wireless Me receiver actually supports receiving from two transmitters at once. Yes, and get this, it's compatible with the Wireless Go 2 transmitter. So if you have one of those, you can have a Wireless Me setup receiving from two transmitters, one of which is a Wireless Go 2. I tried the other way around as well and attempted pairing a Wireless Me transmitter to the Wireless Go 2 receiver, and it works as well. Quite simply, the conclusion is the Wireless Me and Wireless Go 2 are cross-compatible. Now, the Wireless Me having less controls to fiddle around with is in line with the product being intended to be more beginner-friendly. It's got a gain assist feature, which is not present on the Wireless Go's. It's got two modes, auto and dynamic, which will influence the way the automatic gain adjustment responds. Now, adaptive gain isn't really anything new, but what's impressive here is the quality of the algorithm. I'm recording on auto right now, and I can really fluctuate the volume of my speech, and it shouldn't sound like a broken volume knob. You can also disable gain assist completely. It will then record at a default constant gain setting. One more special feature exclusive to the Wireless Me is the receiver also having a built-in microphone. It's the same mic as the one on the transmitter, and the idea is when the receiver is mounted on a camera, you can get a clear recording of the voice behind the camera as well. Great for vlogging and interviews. In fact, that's the mic you've been listening to for this entire video. In software, the receiver mic is known as the Mi mic and is disabled by default. You'll see an orange indicator on the receiver when the Mi mic is off, and once you turn it on, it shows green. If you enable split mode for the receiver in Rode Central, you can isolate the audio from the Mi mic into the right channel and transmitter mics into the left channel. Now, while impressive, the Wireless Mi does not have some features that you will find on the Wireless Go 2. I'm talking about features catered for more advanced workflows like internal recording and safety channels, which does speak for the intended approach Rode's taken with the Wireless Me. This was designed for maximum simplicity, so run and gun, plug and play. They've also designed a new app which launched alongside this called Rode Capture. It's a camera app for smartphones with controls for the Wireless Me built right into the shooting interface. In terms of audio quality, this actually sounds the same as the Wireless Go 2, and you can still use this as a wireless USB microphone for your computer. So this is a new system that's similar, but simpler. For anyone interested, I'll put some links below, and I'll be seeing you around.